Hey guys, Ryan Salson here. Today I'm going to talk to you about something that's really going to help you guys and might be a little surprising. So one of the opportunities that you have is to leverage what I've talked about for a long time on this channel, which is the LSA or local service ads app. Download the app. And then when you get a phone call, if you miss it, if your intake team misses the call, if you're human beings that are on your intake team that are supposed to be answering the phone within the 30 second time frame that I've been telling you guys about for years now, if they miss the phone, if they don't answer it within the 30 seconds and it goes to voicemail or it goes to your answering service or whatever, or it goes to your call service <laughs> and then it goes to a music hold, then what you want to do is you want to call that person back using the LSA app. Pick up the phone, open up the app, find that person in the app, and then call them back using the app. Okay, so you, the reason why you want to do this is because it looks like Google doesn't count those calls as really being missed when you actually call the prospect back using the LSA application, okay? I would also, if you can, I would actually use the message feature in order to engage that person. A lot of people really like to engage using the message feature as well. And then the key is, is making sure that you can add as many people on your team as you possibly can to the local service ads platform. Okay. Why? Because just like with the call tracking platform, we recommend using CallRail because it allows you to simultaneously call as many numbers at once as possible. And in order to make sure that you get your human intake to answer the phone initially, we then transfer that call to the conversational AI in order to make sure the call is answered within 30 seconds. So we get the humans 20 seconds and then we get the AI the final 10 seconds. So beyond the 30 seconds, use the app, call them back on the app, and that will really help to make sure that your response rate is as good as possible, not only the phone calls, but the message leads. Why the message leads? Because they're half price. They're literally half the cost of a voice call. So why would you not turn on the message lead functionality? I know a lot of people tell us that the reason why they don't do it is because they're concerned that they're not gonna be able to respond. I was just talking to a client or a prospect that called me from one of my videos that saw a huge decrease in lead volume. And what I shared with him was pretty impactful. And I share this all the time. It's not so much what we're gonna do to help you get more leads over time, to give Google what it wants so that you get more leads. It's more of what we're gonna do to keep you in good graces with Google, to keep that lead flow flowing so that you guys continue to get leads on a consistent basis. That's the key. That's, you know, that's what really matters as a business owner is to have a consistent flow of quality inbound leads. And that's really what I'm trying to do on this channel is to give you guys the insights into what that looks like. What does it look like to give Google what it wants? It's reviews, radius, response rate, and it's getting reviews on a consistent basis, meaning at least one or two a week. And I talk to businesses all the time, by the way, and they tell me, you know what? I just can't get the number of reviews that you know, you're know you saying that we need to get. And I'm like, why not? Because when I talk to them, these are business owners that actually meet with the client. They're in front of them, they're belly to belly. And yet they can't get one or two reviews a week when they get 10, 15, 20 jobs a week. I just don't really understand how that's possible because we know that if you ask for the review and you know how to show the person where to go on their phone to leave a review for your business, then you're going to get a review three out of four times, 75% of the time. So if you just ask 10 times a week, you're going to get seven reviews. Half the time, the person will just say, do you know where to go? I don't know how to leave a Google review. And then so you just really important that you know how to look up your business on Google. I mean, the person will literally hand you their phone. I mean, this happens all the time. And that's when you know you've got a review. And then the person will ask you, well, what do I say? One of the most important things in any review is not just the star rating, it's what was said. Was it meaningful? You know, is the next person that reads the review going to get something out of it? Are they going to be able to relate to it? And that's why it's really important to ask for a specific type of review, a 2W review, which is what benefits and why they would recommend you. What benefits they received and why they recommend you. Like that guy that I was talking to, there was an attorney that was on the West Coast and I mean, he lost like $40,000 of business in a month. And we work with all verticals, by the way. And it was just because he wasn't doing one or two things 
And, you know, we do these review culture trainings where we try to influence the culture of your staff so that they understand the who, what, where, when, and why of getting a review. And it makes a huge difference. And they're organic reviews. Google loves them. Google can tell when they're organic. As smart as AI is, you don't think that Google can tell that when it's a fake review, they can absolutely tell. And when it's a real review. And so, you know, Google is using these artificial intelligence tools to dispute the calls. You better believe they're using it to identify the reviews. So I hope this video was valuable. Really, you know, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was just that little strategy of calling people back using the app. I'm still surprised at how few people are doing that until you can actually get a conversational AI agent. It's not a matter of if you're going to use a conversational AI agent. It's just a matter of when. I can promise you that. It's like the internet was 20 years ago. The guys that got their website set up and started doing the optimization, got a huge advantage over their competitors. And this is the exact same place that we're at with these, these agents. They can have autonomous conversations that are as good and they learn, they actually learn from the conversation. That's what these large language models are using natural language programming and all of the technology that's been built recently. So I hope this video has helped. If you have any questions, please text me 619-304-5155. You can get an audit from us immediately if you want. You don't have to do anything, just text me and we'll run an audit. If you send us over your CID, uh, we can do an even a more in-depth audit, but you know, outside of that, we can even do an audit without you even you know, sending us anything other than your business name and your location. We can identify you know, what you're doing, what you can do to get better results, et cetera. So anyway, hope this helps. Thanks, bye-bye.